Back in central New York, when we were kids, emergency drills were occasional, quick, and simple. The alarm goes off, you head outside until given the all clear, but my, how things have changed. Sure has. Safety is 24-7 now. As schools wrestle with the pervasive issue of mass shootings, we take you inside North Syracuse Junior High School tonight to see the new additions to the plan to make sure our kids are going to safer schools. I think building relationships with kids. School resource officer Deputy Betsy Lehman is a fixture at North Syracuse Junior High School. Hey guys. So is her marked patrol car parked outside. Nothing undercover here. The goal is to be visible and vigilant. Locked doors are a must. Purpose of that slows down in the event that someone does gain access. It's buying time for myself for other law enforcement to arrive on scene and to neutralize that threat. Right, parents were wondering, you know, we just saw that door open. It's okay to have the door open. Correct, but you want that mechanism to be locked on that door. Doors are locked and kids are not looking down at their phones, texting or airdropping photos. New policy, North Syracuse Junior High. Cell phones, beginning of the day, get locked in the locker and they come out at the end of the day. With little pushback from parents, when explained, locking away digital distractions refocuses students' attention to detail. Be aware of your surroundings. Engage with other people. Use your senses. What are you seeing? What are you hearing? On Deputy Layman's phone is another new safety feature, Navigate Prepared, now being rolled out. School floor plans, maps, 3D images are available at her fingertips. It offers teachers an advantage too. Any classroom teacher would be able to let the administration or district officials know that they've got 25 students, perhaps they're in Lonergan Park. They would know that utilizing this. Knowing what to do, how and where to hide, the unfortunate consequence of what's become the new normal in our schools. If I can see them, so could the bad guy. But every classroom, again, is set up a little differently. They've got some posters. So Mr. Douglas, who teaches in this classroom, explains to the kids, you know what, you need to be to the left of that turtle. All right, and so then, if I'm over here, let's test it out. So you have to be left to the turtle. I'm here. Can you see me? With the door closed and leaning onto that, I cannot. Peeking like a turtle, practicing how to evacuate and barricade. So a desk like this, tell them move it. Absolutely. It. Pile them up. Pile up the teacher's desk. Um, and again, explaining to the kids and the teachers how to be resourceful with what they have available to them. And every day, Deputy Layman pays attention to what students are saying how they're behaving. So you're walking the hall, do you look at things like you know, body language, uh, demeanor of a kid now? Absolutely. And try and take mental note of who's gathering with who, um, who's hanging out with who. And I listen, listen to everything. I got that. And so does our security guards and our teachers that are in the hallways as well. So you got your ear to the ground in these hallways. Every day, building relationships and trust for a stronger, safer school.